Hello everybody, this is Shockman, it's 1000 for Duty. Welcome to another episode, to another episode of Nintendo Wii's Cats. In the last episode, we um, helped Gertrude, met a person called Beat, and he taught us about this thing, which is actually based on warping and saving regularly. In this episode though, I don't remember exactly what it was, it was actually, hang on, so... We started a mission with Gertrude, but we haven't helped her yet. But uh, we've been told to go down this way and find um, something in Lappy Lake. Which is what we're going to be doing now. And you actually did notice that as, as I was doing that introduction, that there was a battery symbol saying that I was low on battery life. Well, that's kind of a hoax. Because, like, my batteries... I changed them last week, and they are Duracell batteries, which are um, items that last longer than antacid batteries, is what they say in the adverts, but if they're like running low on battery life for one whole entire week, then that is kind of silly. Alright then, so um, here in Lappy Lake, you notice that, oh, we actually got some bananas there. Hey, five food and veg, we've got a rare item. Yeah, if you actually, uh, something that's actually meaning to go over, if you find a certain number of a certain collectible, like, um, hang on, if I go to the pause menu real quick and go to, I think it's diary, and no, it's not diary, uh, where is it, is it memo? Yeah, memo the magic encyclopedia. You've got these, like, different topics of insects, fish, flowers, and fruit and veg. If you collect, like, a certain, um, a certain number of each of these, you will get given a certain material that you can actually make your character wear. You've also got rec uh, records of certain minigames we haven't even gone over yet, and also hints of how to do certain things. You got diary to tell you what you've recently done, the map of where we currently are. You can just press A to switch to the overall, as you can see is a massive area. So yeah. We're gonna be doing a lot of exploring. And by the way, in case you're wondering, uh we got a little bit of a problem. And the problem is, in real life, cats hate water. Well look at this. You got a cat, your cat specifically, swimming in water. If that makes no sense, I don't know what does. I mean there are some cats that do actually swim, but you don't actually see them. Oh, guys, you three flowers. And we got decorated hat color one. That's basically a hat for like a female character, or a female cat or whatever, but since we are a male cat, um, it's not really reliable for a male cat to wear female clothing. Unless of course, you are a certain person who likes wearing clothing that is a bit unpeculiar. I mean, I'm not questioning it, mind you. Right, there's something hidden underneath this rock. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with that rock just yet. So what can we need to do? Just dig here. And we got the cotton that we were looking for. Yes, beat, we know. And as soon as you find it, you will automatically get taken straight back to Gertrude. you found some cotton. Could you give that to Loan and get her to make some cotton cloth? <laughs> I probably would agree with you. It's quite a surprise. You didn't know she can make high quality cotton cloth. Yeah, we know she should be at home. Because our parents actually never leave the house. But at least on the plus side, at least they tell you where they were the most likely to be found.
There you go, we hand you the cotton. Yeah, we can wait. Considering you only take about like five seconds. Well, actually, more than five seconds in this game, apparently. We told, we told her about the cotton, and it was night time, and now that she's finished it, it's morning. She really take that long to do it. Or well, whatever. Is it look, it's morning now. She must have stayed up all night to get that done then. But, that looks like Gertrude's shop has been fixed. And we completed our first quest and received some money as a reward. Yeah, so you actually have quests to do in your own free time and they all reward you in some cash. Which you can use to buy stuff. See, the drugstore's now back in business. Nice! Alright, drugstore. You can buy healing items and food at the drugstore. When your health is low, you run the risk of a game over. Use healing items whenever needed to keep yourself safe. Looks like Tom over at the pawn shop needs some help too. Alright then, we'll help Tom now. Uh, we won't save for now, there's no need. But, uh, we can actually talk to Gertrude and buy some stuff, but we're not going to buy anything, just... Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so this is actually what she sells. She sells Antidote, uh, which obviously cures poisoning, in case you probably couldn't tell in Pokemon games. Dried Sardines, which restores half a, health, or half a heart. Canned Tuna, which restores one heart. Cat Food, which restores three hearts. Super Cafe, which restores five, and top quality canned fish restores all hearts. If you actually decide to buy that so early, you can't because it costs 500 gold right down there, and plus, that is a broken item this very early on in the game. I don't even know how many hearts you can have maximum in this game, because I don't think I've ever done it, but I might have done somewhat. But when, like we said, we're not going to buy anything just yet. We're just going to have a look. And then run on over to Tom, which I think is down here. Uh, doesn't seem it. Right, Tom! I, oh, you... You were down there. You were down there. Alright then. Hi. I hear you need some help. And by the way, like you know when they say with the Magic Encyclopedia, uh, to 100% beat the game, you have to find every single item in the Magic Encyclopedia. I am not joking. Tell you, it was trying to run away from Ivla and you twisted your paw. If you twisted your paw, then how are you standing? Herb oil from Gertrude. Okie doke. Yeah, we know where Gertrude is. We just a second talked to her. Alright then. Gertrude, we need your help. It is funny that Gertrude is exactly the same look as our mum, dad, and ourself. Kind of weird, that, if, if you ask me. Heard lots of other animals too. Yeah, I know. If we can bring some charm, uh, mile is that? Is that how you pronounce that? Chamomile. I have no idea. It's like a combination of strawberry and pansy. 
Okie doke. So, we actually learned something new here. Combinations. Some quest items can be found by first learning about other items. So, oh, we're getting Jade Fields. Okay. So, cross this bridge to get to Jade Fields. Wait. Hey, we've unlocked another new area. Nice. Like I need to see a cutscene of a bridge game. We saw one for Lappy Lake. Alright then. So, you probably do the search thing. It's always not going to be here. But you're going to be going to Jade Fields. Like they told us to do. And... Because obviously we heard about the combination, which means we have to look for two items and not one. So we got a pig over there. Uh, oh, that yellow item is found over here. Yep, there we go. Grapefruit. I actually don't know how grapefruit tastes. I've actually never tried it. To be truthfully honest. Uh, let's see. Is it found here? Oh, hang on. Hang on. We can actually catch this butterfly. There we go. Another cabbage white. We've already got one. Yeah, that's actually the problem with the magic encyclopedia. Uh, you get told... Oh, found something. You get told to... Um, find certain items, but the majority of the time you find the exact same item. Uh, oh. Oh, the blue item's on the other area over there. Whoa! Watermelon! Okay, grab ten fruit and veg. And we got fur cat color too. Okie doke. Right, gotta be careful with the snake. Pick up a daisy. No, actually a pansy. Wait, hang on. Wasn't that wasn't the pansy one of the items we had to look for? I don't know. I bet this is the. Oh, uh, oh no, never mind. I thought we had to look for a pansy and a strawberry. No, we just had to look for the one thing. All right, so let's take it back to Gertrude. And she can make the herb oil for us. Yep. Yeah. And believe me when I say this, you do actually have to see that text box every time. When you say you found something, you handed it over, and you got something, and you got taught about something. It's kind of, you know. Oh wow, actually talking straight to the guy. I honestly don't know how herb or herb oil can actually heal someone's pain immediately. I have no idea. But we've um, helped him out. We completed another quest, and we got another hundred gold. Now, pawn shop will buy the items that you. Hang on. Oh, so it will buy items that you don't need. Okay, I get you. You heard that Sol went to Whisker Woods and hasn't come back. He's a master of cra oh, crouching and crawling. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So that area where the police station was, the bridge over there has been fixed now. But the only trouble is, we've actually never seen a cutscene of which bridge we need to take to go over there. Uh, no, same thing again, we're not going to save. Now, we don't actually have any items that we don't really need. So, for the time being, let's go fishing. See what fish we can grab. Because so I think, um, with the fish, you can actually eat the fish. Come on, come on, there we go, easy catch. Here's a sardine, 16 centimeters. Nice. 
Now, we're obviously not going to be able to do it now, but in the future, uh, you see the aquarium here. Uh, if you talk to Charles when it's fixed or you completed the quest, if you have a fish, you can deposit it in the aquarium. I'm not joking, you actually can do that. I don't know if it counts to uh, getting 100% completion or something. Oh, okay, so this was actually the uh, way we needed to go. Right. So, let's see, if we talk to Stanley... All the destruction Evelyn's cause has made so much work for me! I've got plenty to do, but the time is just flying by. Okay. I thought it was actually going to unlock something important, but apparently not. Uh, or is that, well, actually, is it you, Charlotte? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we got a moment. So yeah, you may very rarely come across some fruits that are jam-packed with nutrients. We're, to we're talking extra tasty, extra special fruits. If they're prepared in a certain way, you can make a special dessert that will give you an extra heart. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Thank you. The ingredients are special watermelon, pineapple, and mango. Okay, though. And we have to find ten of each. Now, remember that watermelon that we found earlier? Uh, unfortunately, that watermelon will not count. So, you have to keep occasionally activating your sniffer to find the fruit. You won't find any at all in South or North Poorville. So let's go to Whisker Woods. Yeah, we've got to be careful. Those snakes are in a really foul mood. Yeah, we got told about it when we were doing the tutorial, B. You got your paw stuck in an old snake nesting. You have not got your paw stuck in an old snake nesting hole. Because there isn't even a hole there. You also managed to drop some top quality... Oh, that's the uh, broken item. And by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, you have to find it. Uh, not... Uh, just buy one. You can't buy one, you have to literally find it. Right, I have to crouch and crawl. So we're going to be talking about the crouch here. And I do like that pose of the cat there. It just makes it look so adorable. Just hiding behind this, the um, grass. If you go to... Oh, excuse me. If you go to any tall grass at all in this game, you will automatically crouch. But... It will only work if you are not moving. If you are moving while in the grass, but very slowly, you would learn how to crawl, which will allow you to sneak past the, the um, animals that have gone haywire. So like say, if you're walking like this, you can jump in there and actually like hide in the, um, in the grass. But, it will not work if you're just running right through it. You have to literally do it slowly. So, this is the trail that we have to follow. And it's apparently somewhere down over this way. Oh god, oh god, wait, we got spotted. Well, that's the sound of the snake when it's angry. Oh. 
Oh, we've gone past it. Uh, it's here, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, wait, hang on. That's where I digged. That is seriously where I digged. But anyway, if we go over down this way, I think there might actually be some fruit. No, no, I don't seem it. Oh, hello. Maybe it doesn't show up just yet. All right. Scratch that. Let's just run on over to... Uh, oh, hang on. So scratch that. There is something. All right, here we go. And... Apple. We got an apple. So we've got an area over there called Crystal Caverns. We could technically go in there, but we've got nothing important over there right now. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it. Alright, let's dig up here and we got lavender. Oh, five flowers. We get decorated hat color two. Definitely does look like a good sun hat for women when they're going out and about, doesn't it? Uh, oh no. Okay, that didn't work. Right, we've got to get closer. Right, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, there we go. I think it's because I held it too much. That got caught. Oh, got cherries. Wait. Whoa, we did not stay stunned for long. Okay. Yeah, you see, see, right there. He was not stuck in the hole the inside of the straw. <laughs> wow, he wanted to be a farmer. <laughs> right, so it's going to take us back to the village immediately, and I think we will get rewarded for our trouble. Oh, so we learned about it. And we've also unlocked the action, so we can now use Crouch and Crawl whenever we want. And we receive 150 gold. Oh! Oh, maximum health went up a little. I honestly forgot, if you complete enough quests, you will actually regain a bit of more health. Well, not literally regain, but earn more. Alright, maximum health has increased. Let's keep on helping everybody who needs it. That'll get you developing your own skills, too. Right, before we came out of Wesker Woods, you s uh, saw the flower has been destroyed. <sighs> yep, I get the picture. Claire should be near. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, just gonna save right here because it's time for Intercourse to end this episode, guys. So next time on Nintendo Wii's Cats, we um, we'll be doing a little bit of backtracking actually, um, because the fact that we've actually unlocked something based on finding special fruit, you will actually need to find them. So I'm gonna go back to Whisker Woods. And see if there's any areas that we might have not yet explored. See you guys then.